Hey everyone, welcome back. I've got a lot of great content lined up in another episode of Real Talk. This is a show where I tell you about things like IT services, new tech, and industry changes. But more importantly, why should you care? So today we're gonna to be talking about Microsoft Teams. We'll talk about what it is, what it does, and what it means for you. Okay, in a nutshell, Microsoft wants to get rid of Skype for Business. It's built on a system that relies on in-house hardware, and they've realized that a lot of people are moving to the cloud. So they've designed a completely new version from the ground up, Teams. So what is Teams? It's a chat-based workspace, a 365 app for things like instant messaging, file sharing, and video calls. Like most modern apps, you can get it on any device. Except this one. And probably not Linux, but moving on. What does it do, you ask? Basically everything Skype for Business does and more. So it'll do instant messaging, voice calls, video calls, and screen sharing, just to name a few. While Skype is capable of doing all of this, Teams does it better. Take the chat feature, for example. In Teams, when you send messages back and forth, they just stay there, much like a text message conversation. Unlike Skype for Business, where you have to configure your software to send copies of your conversations to your inbox, and then go search in Outlook so you can reference something that you were talking about in Skype. With Teams, if you need to look at a conversation you had with someone, just open the chat. It's all there, and it will stay there for as long as you want it to. These are all great features, but some of the best features are brand new, like the ability to organize a team. A team is kind of like a permanent chat room with people that you choose. Maybe you start one by inviting a bunch of people you design websites with. Maybe you start one by adding all the members of a search committee. The choice is yours, and you can create one with our help. There's a lot more that Teams can do, so we'll cover that later once we roll it out. Now, why should you care? You might say, well, all of that sounds great, but so what? Why should I care? I appreciate it, but I'm just going to keep using Skype. Well, that's the thing. You can't. Like I said, Microsoft is getting rid of Skype for Business. They're literally replacing it with Teams. At some point, Skype for Business is not gonna work anymore and we have to prepare for that. That's why we're being proactive. We're declaring Teams as ESU's official communication platform before the end of Skype. So, especially if you're an ESU employee, you will have to get to know Teams. If you want to continue instant messaging, it will be your go-to. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions about Teams, please give us a call. You can also hit us up on social media. While you're there, make sure to follow us so you can stay up to date on stuff like this in the future. I'll see you next time for more Real Talk.